Hey guys, how you doing? <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, let's start in some tactics. Tactic attack. Okay. <clears throat> let's do it to it. Oh boy, this should be an interesting uh, one. Trying to see if I play um, <clears throat> Bishop takes f3. Oops, sorry, guys, I gotta minimize so you guys can see it. If I play Bishop takes f3, King takes f3, h5. And that will uh, threaten checkmate because what'll happen is if uh, this is the idea. <clears throat> Okay, bishop takes f3, the king takes f3, h5, if uh, king uh, e3, let's just say king 3, <clears throat> I go um, queen, uh, g5, check, and then he goes king uh, f3, and I I think I'm not sure what to do after that. I'm thinking that's potentially right because then we pick up at least. I think we pick up a piece. I'm gonna go with it. Oh no. I do want to see this one combination though. Because I'm kind of curious about it. Okay, if takes, takes, h5, ag8. Okay, queen f, g2. Oh, he runs. Okay. Yeah, we're lost at that point. Okay. Hey, at least we found out. Let's let's do it right this time. There we go. It's a sneaky move here because if we take, queen takes, king takes, then he has a knight to uh, f3 with a fork. So. Can't even play queen e3 because of a, a fork. <laughs> That's kind of a whoa, hello attack. Actually, we could take. Then I think about it, and if queen takes, we take with uh, no. Then he has a he still has a fork there. Well, then we can actually pick up the bishop in that. Oh no, no 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 no. Not again. Not again. Well, maybe knight take. If we play knight takes d, four potes. Okay. 
There we go. We got to remove the knight first. Hey, remove the attacker, right? It's all you got to do is remove the attacker and you got that. You got it. So, and we did good there. We did good. We did good. So, I'm excited. Excited. Yes, I am. We'll get it right back. We'll be right back in the money. Uh, or not money, but right back in the points. That's what I mean. Okay. So, Bishop D3. What am I missing here? Is it uh, Queen A5 check? And then if Knight goes to C3, we take Bishop takes E4, and then Pawn takes with a ch check, which. Uh, at that point we can uh, take the rook check bishop takes and we uh, queen and if he takes our queen then we uh, we just retreat out yeah So knight takes knight, queen takes, and we grab that. If we play knight to um Trying to figure out which one's best. Because if we take uh, queen takes bishop, he'll fork and win our, our queen. Check to see why interception doesn't work. I get it. The only way to uh, win a piece so you don't lose is to play this because then he doesn't have that anymore. Oh, very subtle. Very, very, very subtle. Okay. I gotcha. Okay, bishop takes knight. If bishop takes bishop, rook to e8, check, queen takes, and then knight takes.
show you the sneaky move. It's not sneaky, it's just very subtle. <clears throat> There we go. The tea is good, very good. Trying to see if we play um, uh, bishop takes, I mean, rook takes c2, bishop takes c2, and then knight d4. There is rook b1, but then the Well, there is also potentially rook, um, rook b1, if rook d2, then we have knight c, uh, c3, and if king takes, 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 king takes, then we can, be, I think we can infiltrate our king in at that point. Yeah, I like rook b1. Oh, snap, I, for some reason I forgot about this point here. Huh. Wowzers. Sometimes it's just the most straightforward uh, moves. Wow.
So if I push the pawn, and then he checks there. Let's see here. Let's try, uh, we'll try to create a game, casual. Let's try the London system on them. Let's probably try the French. He might try the. I go for the Dutch with uh, with F. Oh, I played that. Okay. Just trying to get my bishop activated now. 
I'm actually like an oops, oh that wasn't my idea. I was just gonna play uh here. Still okay though. I was just gonna play. I was gonna play up here, and then. Uh, but I guess now I can actually take there. If he plays queen takes, um, knight takes, and I'm actually better. So <laughs> surprisingly, I'm better here. <laughs> uh, wow, who'd have thunk, right? And then now, what's he gonna do? Nothing. Hey, thanks for the raid. How you guys doing? Can almost pick up a. Uh, first of all, I gotta play there and then there, and I pick up a piece. Still think he's trapped either way. I don't think there's a way to save him. Even if he plays here, I think he's still trapped. After uh, after pawn takes knight. When he plays here, I can still take there. He doesn't have that. He doesn't have that. He doesn't have that. His knight's trapped. So it's actually resignable here. But if he wants to play on, uh, we can. Let's 
excuse me. I just take. I'll see if my takes was incorrect. It might have been, but I'm not sure. I might have been able to have uh, picked up the pawn first. I don't know. No, I couldn't have picked up the pawn because he would have uh, um, played here if I if I had played there. He would have played here with check escaped. So I did the right one. Let me just grab that. Let's see if I can't enter into the seventh. If he plays bishop here, I can always take there, and then if he takes here. I always have rook to g1 with a threat of mate. <clears throat> so this is actually potentially um, winning. So maybe I should have checked, but then he came over and come there. Could he come there? And then I can come all the way over there and play that. Hmm. I don't know. I like developing my uh, <clears throat> my knight. It's never wrong to do that. Never, never. Check and then if he takes here, check comes there. Hmm. 
I don't think I would have won anything. Well, maybe I could have, uh, I might have been me. Maybe that does end in me. I think that does. I think I missed a mate. Because if I had played uh, check here, if he takes here, I come over check, if he comes down, I check, if he comes up, then I can, I believe, I believe that's, n no, because my knight, my knight's gone, so I don't know, I don't know that's not checkmate, no, so I did the right move. Just grab that. Oh, snap, that was a dumb move.
No, it's and I most played. I I don't do the uh, take backs because it's not cold blood either. It's that uh, you know what in a real game. I think I think he did. No. I'll show you a line where I I think I win e either way. There's one line that I potentially could win in as well. Not sure though if it does win. Let, let's go over this because I wanted to check this one move out here. This was an idea. If pawn takes, knight takes. Oops. Is he winning here? I think it's a draw, yeah. Now it's winning. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think they're. I think it's game over here. So pushing is oh. Because I drew him in too close. Okay, I gotcha. So now that we need to... Okay, I see. If he tries... Oh, then I get out. This was my blunder. This was the blunder because it drew him closer. Okay. And I didn't have enough time to get out. So you can just stay there and and it's game over, okay, yeah. King H two is uh and if he plays here. I don't, I like that move better actually. Yeah. We'll try uh, one more, and then we'll get uh, we'll get back to. I have a couple games in the London system I'd like to go over. There's a potential knight here, here, and then in there. That would be a pretty devastating move too.
let's see here. Let's see if I can't get my uh, Alfred going up the board. Boom. That was the plan. Oh wow, nice. Well, that, this is a nice move too. Yeah, that's me. Wow, whoa. That's a powerhouse. We gotta see that again. Okay. First of all, he goes there. Check. Okay, he goes there. Oops, I gotta turn off this. Check. 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 Because we're uh, cutting off his last bit of square, so he has to take. And then we infiltrate that if he plays there. We we actually sacrifice a piece. Cause we don't need the piece because we can meet. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's that's something and a half shell right there. You have a game? Oh, can we finish this one puzzle real quick? Because I believe it's uh, knight g3. When the king comes, takes. Takes. King up. And I think we get the pawn and we uh, queen just in time. Oh. oh, just in time for shielding. Okay, I think I was too soon on this one move here. Back here, then we'll, we'll do that. We will do that, I promise. Oh, come on, come on. Don't lag him in now. Don't lag him in. Oh. 
I played here, which c6 is a draw. And you have to get, yeah, and you have to stop here so that when, uh, when he comes here, you have to shield him away, and then when he comes up, you go there. Ah, one move, a little, one move too late. Okay. Okay, you got put the game in. Perfect. Let's see here. Okay, white. So see. Oh, I, I wanted to ask, is this from a tournament? A computer tournament? Um, it, I know they had one on um, chess.com and they were having like the computer world championship or something like that what did Leela participate in that okay cuz they had one that um was going on on chess.com. I, I think it was being hosted by um, somebody. I don't know which one, but it was uh, the uh, engine like world championship thing or something like that. Man, they calculate like yeah, that was C C C C. Okay. Well, how did Leela do? What uh what uh spot did Leela get? Well where where is uh Leela in the runnings though? Ooh, not bad. How many engines are there? Are participating? Do you? Uh, I know I'm. I'm like. I'm asking a lot of questions. I understand, but I'm just interested. Oh wow! So that's actually not too. That's not bad at all. Third, and it's a self-learning engine. Who to thunk? LHS should be uh, happy about that. Their engine's doing that good, and it's just going to continue to keep getting better. So G6. Yeah, someday, yeah. Yeah, and then what happens is, um, so maybe someday Lila will get strong enough to uh, face um, uh, Deep Zero, or, yeah, not Deep Zero, Alpha Zero, sorry. I was thinking of uh, Deep Blue there for a second. Wow, that is pretty impressive. Well, think about it. They're like 2,340. Come on. 2,300. Uh, tw sorry, 2,200. No, 3,240. <laughs> Said that a little in reverse there. 
but uh, that's like wow <laughs> tells you if you truly know how to tweak your engine and you um, work with your engine properly and you don't fight the um, kind of the thoughts of the engine a little bit think how much stronger you can be uh, like uh, Night D2 that's why we go over um, engine games like with Fox brings engine games we go over them because this is the engine engine games are the next frontier for learning their their depth of calculation is extremely high you know I mean I I can't I don't even think there's a word that could uh, say how big of a calculated a machine that they are and so if we can at least learn somewhat from their calculations it will improve our games but of course you have human error in there so like computers don't get um, f afraid they don't get under the weather and they don't worry about stuff yeah a4 cool move because Leela had a plan to follow up with her knight to c4 yeah well, my teacher taught me about this. If you ever wanted to put a uh, a knight on uh, c4 and you had a pawn structure like that, he told me to uh, play a a4 because what would happen is when you plant a knight to c4, if he ever tries to do that, you can always oops. And he tries to do that, you can always take. He can't take back because you'll win a rook. So yeah after knight d2 if black goes bishop to g4 do you think white should play f3 or bishop e2 let me see uh, knight d2 do you, do you think uh, he should go bishop g4 and white, what should white play here I don't know. I, I, in my preference, I wouldn't want to. Yeah. But I, I, I know this sounds awkward. Uh, it gives, it does do one thing though. This does attack the bishop, and the bishop come back. But you have to figure: is, is your pawn structure worth uh, a gap, gaping hole on? f4 because the knight wants to go into f4 but if you think about it let's say we play here and he tries knight h5 you can always shunt the bishop away make it go away I mean make this knight move look silly by g3 so I'm I believe I uh, yeah I believe that um, it's okay to play f3. I really don't see any um, real drawbacks to f3. I actually like f3. Surprisingly, f3 does make a solid structure. And more likely, this would set up for the engine or us to develop and maybe even win. Knight takes d6, where? Oh, true, I see what you're saying. Yeah, that would be a... So, yeah, okay, we're going to have to do away with it. Mainly, queen there would have to be played. Um, 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 let me see here. And the engine probably would play something like this, then that would uh, come to pass. And and so you'd have to be careful, and you would lose a piece. So 
right after a trade out. And what you what uh, White uh, could say is that he's justified his um, move kind of odd. Um, even though it, he had to move back and it looks like it was a wasted of a move, it's not. Yeah, we kind of did away with that because that I'm glad you guys spotted that. That was, um, see, that's the human error factor that the engines don't have. But right here is an interesting uh, setup. Should we um, should we try uh, bishop knight to b4, and then if bishop takes b b or knight b5, sorry, pawn takes. Now black stuck with a pretty disgusting uh, bishop. So I don't know. I'm I'm kind of tied between. Um, either knight a5 or knight b5. That's an interesting one. Oh, so you think he goes c8? Hmm. Yeah, probably he'd retreat to c8 because the computer would predict that potentially this might be a um, setup. That this might be an idea. And then he can uh, actually stop that by uh, a4. Yeah, that that is an interesting line for sure. Hey, good idea though. I uh, you know that would win a pawn. Nice, nice, nice. Wow, that's some deep calc calculation there. I picked up a pawn. Now it has the theory of two weaknesses. And in comes its brother. Kaboom. Pow. So there, there really is no way to uh, prevent the loss of, uh, of the queen. You really don't want to do that. Because if you did this here, it would allow the king to escape. You want to keep this pawn in place, Fox. 
because it shunts the king away. And our idea is actually to obliterate, actually go kaboom at that point. He can't come here, so he only really has two squares to go to. If he comes back here, then um, I guess maybe takes, bishop takes. Huh, maybe I am uh, wrong. Well then maybe pawn push and then it's there. So he can't move his knight. Why can't he move his king up? Oh, the knight's there. So the queen would actually have to take at that point, yeah. Yeah, I think I think you're right in that line. Let me see here. I'm just concerned that well, I guess yeah. Potentially that could be that could be played. Stop. I don't know why this glitches on me. Ah, stop glitching. Ah, stop it glitching. It's not the move I want. Boom, there's mate. I should just grab the queen in that line. Better is just grabbing the queen. So let's say moves over here. Okay, D, let's actually see how it ends. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, game over at this point. I just wanted to check what actually can we do here? Hold on, this doesn't look winning. I, I got just one sec, Fox. I'll look at that game. I want to see how the computer would handle this.
Uh, it's still a long ways out. Okay, now we'll check your, Now we'll check the game. Huh. Still a long ways out from victory. Wow, white's just totally coming at black with all guns blazing. Wow, uh, black's gonna get all black's gonna pull red. You're saying Oh, because of this move here. Oh yeah, because if he plays here, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I gotcha. Wow. Pretty good. That's a pretty good game. Not pretty good. That's an excellent game. B5. Well, only a, only a computer <laughs> kind of could uh, calculate through this type of a pawn structure. This is an insane pawn structure. It's like, whoa. What a human wouldn't uh, set up a pawn structure like this. At least not on purpose. If it, uh, Maybe Nakamura would. He's kind of one of those uh, players that, you know what, when he's, uh, he's all in, he doesn't uh, give up. Oh, nice. This little trick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that too. Yeah, I gotta see those two. Yep. There's... Yep, I gotcha. That's right. This is a nice little, little trick. That little engine. Yeah. Oh, man. That, that's just so sweet. When you can put a piece like this, and then you you're threatening to win the queen. Yes, loving it. The king has to move there, and then oh, in comes the cavalry unit to wham. F and oh yeah. Boy, boy, boy! Wow. This is just uh, Black's getting steamrolled by the engine. Wow. That This is just devastating of an attack. Oh, ouch. That, that, that's like getting your, getting your face smashed right there, man. Wow. A little brutal, very brutal. But you know what? That's the way of the berserker, right? You know what? It takes whatever, uh, whatever it takes to win, they'll do it. It's the Kramaga um, I uh, mentality that if that whatever they have on hand to win the fight, they're gonna do it. That pawn was right there, so Leela says, how can I get a queen? 
wham there you go now now of all things this is just crazy I, I gotta say this is uh, this is a great game wow 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 you don't get to see this type of masterpiece on the game very often it's, little, it's the it's so beautiful I gotta say because uh, Leela is basically slowly uh, disintegrating uh, their uh, the other opponent basically Leela is uh, grinding the opponent into powder that's, I guess that's the best term that I can um, say is it's just getting pulverized because it has the these two weaknesses now it has this weakness of the A file and potentially if this gets pushed it'll have a pin weakness so it's got like five different things that black has to be concerned about it's almost over here it's really yeah yeah you know what that that actually that's powerful when this setup right here is yeah yeah exactly and that that's the whole point the, um, black is tied down to defending these two pawns and now a third weakness had has been implemented which potentially a rook now this rook can actually slide over to b2 and now this knight is pinned to the queen, which means uh, a5 is a threat that could be taken with check. It's like whoa! All you know, all uh, it's like all the <laughs> the artillery of white is just unloading on black here. It's incredible. Show no mercy, man. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. There's there it is. First wham. Now, yeah, see a piece had to drop there because of that much um pressure. Like I I I my grandma had a pressure cooker and it would it would whistle like and it would have a thermometer when uh the canning was done and all that. And I was like, this is kind of what that reminded me of when when there's so much pressure in a position, uh, either you put on your opponent or the, your your pre opponent puts on you, you have to give. It has to give way. Uh, so he had to give up something to uh, get his um, his forces at least give him some breathing air. But remember that th there's three weaknesses now for uh, Black. He's got to worry about these pawns here. It's like, whoa. And this knight's a weakness. Oh, man, everything is falling apart. And this, and this is going to be a queen. <laughs> that is just plain brutal. Because it the engine could actually queen and and force total domination, but it's it's not happy with that. It wants to go for all everything. Oh, true. But who I gotta say some who would wouldn't just play this there you know what I mean and then and just win and then if and there's the king can't move this can't move so let let's say he plays there
and now just rook there oops not right there rook here and it's like what could uh, black actually do here he's kind of stuck if he moves his rook we have this move and then if he if he plays here you actually have a pretty crazy setup he can't he he, uh, he would then have to uh, come back and then you queen and you're winning He'd probably leave his rook there now that I think about it. Let's delete that. And let's just say he pushes the pawn. He'd probably play that and then play there. And you're still winning. There's no way to stop. I guess, let me see here. You could just play that, and then there's no way to stop me. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll go over this game. We'll finish up the Leela game. Because it's just, and there's no way that this check can ever be uh, taken advantage of. There's this move here, which I love when you could do that. And it's just like, hello, it's that's not fun. Okay, let's see what. Okay, they said the reason Lila didn't care if she wins and five moves or fifty. All that matters is that she she is winning. Okay, so sometimes she ends up taking the huh. That's true. Hey, you know what? as long as it's a win, right? It doesn't matter how many moves it takes. Oops, my bad there. What? So on move what? Where did I? Uh, let me see. Oh, here's your game. <laughs> Sorry about that. I have so many games going. Okay, there's your game. There we go. Oops, I have. Oh. Yeah, we'll just uh, end this and we'll do this one. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so you're white and your opponent is black. Oh, from the start? Alrighty. Oh, nice. You played the English. That's a fun one. Wow. I don't know, maybe King takes. I want to see, just one second, I want to see what the best takes is, Fox. I know we're not supposed to use the engine, but I just wanted to see what, what the engine says. So, it is, this move is right then. Okay, so we did we did the right move. Nice. 
Because why? I figure this. Why give up your uh, pawn? You're up a whole pawn. You worked your heart out to get that pawn. And there's no risk. Uh, I know what you're probably thinking. If here, can he play this? But if he did that, then you pick up a bishop. So he has to move his bishop. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Yeah, that that is a uh that is a time uh thing. That's the only problem with doing uh, five minute games uh, are, are, yeah, five minutes is sometimes you lose, you, you're not able to calculate as fast. That's why I do 15 minutes. Wow. Nice job. Wow. And there you go. You picked up a whole piece. May I ask a question why you just didn't play that move? I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, can he play there? Well, not really. Oh, 30 seconds? Okay. Maybe we could play e uh, e5 here. Maybe e, maybe maybe this is actually a better combination. Now that I think about it, and if rook takes, rook takes, bishop takes, takes, queen takes, and potentially you can take with the pawn if he takes there. And you can even this uh, this is crazy. You could, you're still you're even up a bishop here, so you're up two pawns. You can always always win. Nice job. That's that's actually I like that. This this is actually winning too as well. I was seeing if queen takes um, g6 does anything. Let's see.
Hmm. I just want to see what would happen. Oops, not that. Mouse slip. <laughs> don't don't take it back, right? Yeah, it works. Hey, you know what? You did a great job. Great job. I you know what? I always just look to see what what's the most forcing. You did a great work. Great job, man. Great job. Do you have any questions though? So, do you have any questions in this? Like, any, uh, where you want to look at? Okay. Do you have any questions, Fox, before I log off? Okay, then. Alrighty. Well, thank well, guys. I wanted to thank you for uh, logging on uh, and watching. We're doing much better today. You know what? Sometimes the hardest thing is um, to actually, you know, go over your games, even if it's a one game, and find a better, uh, better move sequence. Learn from it then keep moving forward in your studies then you can say huh you mean I could have I could have done this and if I do that then next time when I get in a position because more likely um, you guys are going to get in that same position now you can take what you've learned from that game and apply it because if every game's a little different but the uh, the most sequences sometimes are very similar to get to that point but you know you have to always remember, you have to always keep that in mind that what you learned is very important see that's what Bruce Lee was saying when uh, you have knowing is not enough you must apply because you can know a lot of a lot about a subject but unless you apply it like if you can know a lot of you know moves in chess but unless you apply it in your own um, games you're not going to ever be able to uh, show uh, how great the Lord of uh, the Lord's given you a mind to use. Uh, you got to be willing. You know what? Trust me. If you're willing, He'll be there to help you. Willing 
And if you then take that willing and actually do something with it, think of how great and better of a chess player you'll be. See, we uh, guys, we set our own uh, plateaus. We're the we're the ones that um, will say, "I'm only going to go this far." The engines are uh, almost limitless with potential of calculations because they don't settle for, uh, um, I, as in <laughs> the Navy SEALs say, uh, first loser, which means second place. They don't. Uh, that's there is no. There's either first. And uh, they have they have the phrase uh, I watched one of the things, it pays to be a winner. Trust me, when you get that one on that on your side, and it pays to study. So just keep that in mind. Have that rolling in your in your mind. It pays to study. It pays to study. And uh, like what Chuck Missler uh, said is. We're, our, we're most vulnerable at our lowest point and we're most vulnerable at our, at the, when we're at the top. So just uh, keep that in mind. If your top has no limit, then you, the pride won't enter in. So you'll just keep climbing up that Mount Everest to greatness. And I know you guys have what it takes. That, that's why you guys log on and do uh, do chess. You got you all you all want to get better. That's the whole point, is to constantly get better. Like coal, coal under pressure ends up becoming a very valuable um, diamond. Trust me, probably the coal de didn't like being put under that much pressure, but in the end, it turned it to something very valuable. And like uh, that's our eyes and our, our mental capacity. And uh, I always think of that as going over games, the, the pressure of coal turning into a diamond. Because then you can apply it to your games. And then like a dull sword that's sharpened can save uh, lives during the medieval times. So it's like tactics sharpen, uh, sharpening our senses to when... Um, a dubious move is played or a mistake is played by our opponent so that we can take advantage of it so if you use both of those guys you'll you can't but win and my teacher told me this one thing and he told me many things but this one uh, thing really stuck with me I asked him how do you how can you win and how can you always win he, he said this you know what don't play bad moves. If you play good moves, you can't but at least draw, he says. You either win, you either win, or you draw. If your opponent plays the best, you play the best, it equals a draw. So, but if you play your best and your opponent makes a mistake, you play enough good moves, you win. Okay, I am, um, and remember what we always say, keep moving forward. Only go back to learn, don't dwell there. And don't constantly, um, uh, you know, rem you know, go over and over and over it, and don't let it make you have a bad day either. And remember, we hang up our coat, we hang up our hat, we sit down and study games, puzzles, when most won't, and that makes all the difference. Okay, guys, I'll leave you this. It's Wesley So says through the Lord Jesus, and as I say, God bless. And I'll see you guys next time on Chess Cruncher TV. Have a blessed morning, afternoon, evening, guys. Lord willing, I'll be back on tomorrow. And we'll keep uh, plugging away, getting better, sharpening our swords, and compressing that coal to become a diamond. Great job, guys. We won two out of two. Hoorah. Go Team Chess Cruncher. Great job, guys. Be blessed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.